This is the video showing the oil change and filter replacement on a Citroen C5 Aircross. It's a 2020 model for the run from 2017 onwards. And this is the 1.2 PureTech petrol engine. This engine has a particular problem, so it makes it very important to replace the engine oil and filter on a very regular basis, which I will come to a bit later in the video and explain all. Right, before you do raise the car up, make sure it's at full operating temperature. Uh, the oil needs to be hot so it fully drains out. Once you've uh, removed the drain plug, it needs to be left, you know, 15, 20 minutes if you can, so as much of the old oil drains out. So the first job is removing the under tray from underneath the engine. Once you've raced the car off the ground either on ramps or with a jack and axle stands or a ramp if you're lucky enough to have one um, and made the car safe, you know, don't forget to chock the wheels as well. Removing the under tray, there's a series of bolts, I forget just how many, but they're all, there are six mil bolts, so 10 mil spanner socket size to remove them. These two in the middle, Leave them well last, take all the ones that are on the outside off. Once the under tray is off and out of the way we can uh, change the oil. A good idea is to remove the oil filler cap before you start. Um, this reminds you to fill it up with oil. Not as unusual as you think, I have seen it happen. I haven't done it thankfully but it does happen. Best job is to remove the oil filter. There are various different tools to remove the oil filter. Uh, this is quite a good one, there are strap ones, all sorts, you could even drive a screwdriver through it to turn it off. Always make sure you've made, you've checked your new oil filter against the, the old one, make sure you've got the right one before you, you make a hole in it. So in this case I've made a hole with a punch just to drain the oil off, it avoids a lot of mess. Uh, once the oil filter is off out of the way we can drain the oil. It's a 12mm Allen key fitting, uh, when you slacken it, oil will come straight out, it has three little holes in the sump pan which allows the oil to drain out. A little bit annoying if you don't know about it because oil goes everywhere, um, but probably a good idea. Just make sure you've got a container ready, catch the oil and leave it for a good 15-20 minutes, make sure as much of the old oil has drained out as possible. I'm not fitting a new sump plug on this vehicle, there's nothing wrong with the old one. Some service kits come with a, a new sump plug but you don't have to fit one so long as there's nothing wrong with the seal or the washer. In this case it's absolutely fine. Clean all the surfaces uh, ready for the to put the sump plug and the new oil filter back on the car. This is the new oil and the oil filter. The oil is Castrol Magnatec Stop Start Oil. It's a uh, 0W30 oil, fully synthetic, uh, excellent oil which you need in these engines. Little tip is to fill the new oil filter up with engine oil. This helps prime the system when you first start the engine. The oil pump doesn't have to move the air out of the oil filter and replace it with oil. It's good for the longevity of the engine and easy to do. If the oil filter is in this orientation, it's great. I always do it. If it's horizontal onto the engine, side of the engine block, it's not so easy. But in this case, it's great. Just oil the seal with some of the new engine oil and then it's ready to spin on the car. Bin the oil filter onto the engine. as tight as you can by hand make sure you've got dry clean hands and you'll get good purchase to tighten it they're a bit awkward sometimes but you should never use the tool a wrench or anything like that you will over tighten it they need to be as tight as you can get by hand and they will never come off refit the sump plug you can torque it down to maybe 25 newton meters if you've got the torque wrench I'm just doing it by hand. I'm quite happy that I've tightened it to a sufficient torque. Um, and then it's time to fill the engine up with oil. 
Oil capacity is 3.25 litres. It's a good idea to use a funnel. I haven't used one. Um, I've got a steady hand and uh, just make sure if you do use a funnel it's nice and clean. Remember not to put all the oil in at one go. The uh, oil capacity is 3.25 litres but we have filled the oil filter up so I'm only going to put in about um, two and a half maybe a little bit more litres and there'll be enough to run the engine and when we have it level on the deck and we know there's no leaks we'll uh, recheck it. That's it, filled with oil, uh, oil cap on and then we'll run the engine, check the oil light goes out straight away and that there aren't any leaks underneath. Right now we can refit the under tray. Uh, we put copper slip on all the threads of the bolts and this just ensures that next time you want to remove them or somebody removes them, they'll, they'll remove easily. Uh, then uh, once we've done that we can drop it down onto the ground and uh, check, recheck the oil, make sure the oil level's correct, top it up as necessary. Hope you are enjoying the video so far, if you are I hope you'll click that like button, uh, maybe consider subscribing if uh, you think it's worthwhile. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing any of the parts, there's a link to all of them in the description below. They are affiliate links, I'll make a tiny bit from the sale, which I thank you very much if you do. Um, I'll let you continue watching the video. Once the car's back on the ground, check and top up the engine oil as necessary. If we remember that to put too much in in one go, just keep adding a little bit to it. The dipstick doesn't read too well, you maybe got to let it settle a while um, before you put the dipstick back in. Uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, these engines have a problem. You can see from that photograph that the cam bell is badly uh, cracked and uh, split. They shouldn't be like that at all. The interval used to be about 120,000 miles or kilometres. They've reduced it now to 60,000 miles, I believe. So as long as you change your oil regularly and make sure the cam belt is changed at 60,000 miles, you shouldn't have any issue. But if it did break, it would be catastrophic for the engine. Um, there's a tool which you saw further back there that you can check the width of the cam belt. They do swell as they get um, as they get contaminated and start to crack so the tools are fairly cheap about £10. I will put a link in the description down below. This one though is very good. It's only done 32,000 miles. There's no signs of cracking or anything. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that. Just one more thing to show you is resetting the service light. It's quite a, a simple procedure. With the ignition off, press and hold the odometer button. Press the start stop button without pressing the foot brake. Once the odometer is counted down, there's a 10 second countdown. Once it's counted down to the very bottom, um, you can release the button and uh, it's reset restart the engine make sure it's reset if it hasn't just do the procedure again but it should be okay so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please uh, give us a like subscribe if you haven't and uh, i hope you'll have a look at some of our other videos and thank you very much for watching